Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. see what's on thinking man's mind today. When is a thumb turn ADA compliant? That's a great question. Come on in and let's take a look. I'll be basing my answer today using references from ANSI A117.1, the 2017 edition. ADA also does have its own design guide and they do base it off of this standard but you may find other states may have their own requirements that are different. So always check your state and local codes. Here's what section four, 404.2.6 on door and gate hardware says from the standard. Handles, pulls, latches, locks, and other operable parts on doors and gates shall have a shape that is easy to grasp with one hand and does not require tight grasping, pinching, or twisting of the wrist to operate. That itself is the test, and it doesn't have anything to do with size, but let's take a look. Here's a thumb turn, it's a cylindrical deadbolt, and its pivot point is in the center. It's very difficult to use the side of my hand in order to operate. I have to tightly grasp and pinch and twist my wrist. But these locks are not all that common because you can't use them in a means of egress. We'll get to that at a later date. Here's a thumb turn on a mortise lock. Notice how the pivot point is at the bottom. This makes it very easy to use the side of my hand or a closed fist to operate the thumb turn. And because of that, this is ADA compliant. Here's another example of a thumb turn that pivots at the bottom and it too is ADA compliant. Here's a thumb turn on a locking pull. It also meets ADA because it doesn't require tight grasping, twisting, or pinching of the wrist to operate. And I have a little pushback from the original that I sent in. So here's an edit just to let you know there are some center pivoted thumb turns that do meet the definition. As long as they don't require tight grasping, pinching or twisting of the wrist to operate, you can see that this particular one, I can use the side of my hand. That makes it very easy to meet ADA. There is no size listed in the standard, as I mentioned before, and all of the thumb turns pictured here are ADA compliant. Some manufacturers make larger, more ergonomic thumb turns. It makes things easier, even though it's not required. You can use deco thumb turns that look nice and match your levers and still meet ADA. The key to a compliant thumb turn is not just where the pivot point is. If it pivots at the top or bottom, from what I have found, they all meet ADA. If it pivots in the center, it may not. What you need to do is test it. If you run into an inspector who says that your thumb turn isn't compliant, the best bet is to get a sample mounted on a lock block and have them operate the thumb turn to demonstrate that it does. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Osabloy Academy by clicking in the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. If you have a question for Code Corner that you'd like to see on a future episode, you can email me at katherine.flower at asaabloid.com. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.